I am excited to show you how easy the new Canary System Installer is to use. In our latest release of version 20.2, the System Installer has consolidated what was originally multiple installers into a single streamlined installer. Before we install the system, it is important to understand the architecture and flow of Canary data. A local deployment of the Canary solution will likely use the appropriate Canary collector to configure data logging from an OPC, MQTT, or SCADA data source. Also installed local to the data source is the Canary sender service. The sender uses store and forward technology to securely and reliably move data across the network to the Canary server. The receiver moves the data into the Canary historian for lossless data archiving and communicates back to the sender that the data has been stored, releasing the sender's local cache. Client tools, whether from Canary or other providers, access the data within the historian via the Canary Views service. The Views acts as the gatekeeper, authenticating users and providing only the data each user has permission to access. We will be installing our data collector on a virtual machine local to the OPC server and doing a separate install of the Canary Historian server on another VM to represent how the system would likely be deployed in the field. I will then demonstrate how to license the Canary system. Begin installation by right-clicking on the installer and running as an administrator. Choose the individual components you will need to install from the historian server, data collectors, and client tools. For this example, we will be logging data via OPC UA and we'll need the Canary admin service, the sender service, store and forward, OPC UA, and the Canary admin client. Click install. It only takes a few moments for the Canary system installer to run. And you can follow the progress in the lower right hand corner. Once the installation of the Canary system is complete on the data collector, we can now install the system on the Canary Historian VM. Remember, it is only necessary to install the components of the Canary system you will be using on that particular machine. In this instance, there is no need to install the sender, calculation server, events, mirror, publisher, or ODBC connector. And the same goes for the data collectors and client tools. Once both the data collection tools and Canary server tools have been installed, you will need to license the Canary server. To do so, run the Canary administrator application while on the Canary server. When you open the Canary Administrator, the home screen will display the individual component tiles of the Canary system. Click the License tile. You can add a license manually if you do not have an internet connection on the machine, or automatically if you do have internet access from the Canary server. Simply fill out the fields for name, company, serial number, and email based on how you would like the software license. Select a quantity of one, check the boxes for Canary Historian and Axiom. In the lower right hand corner, click Get License. Your system is now licensed. To add a license manually, copy the license code in the upper right hand corner. From a machine or device that has internet access, Navigate to canarylabs.com slash support slash license. 
fill out the name, email, and company name fields, enter the quantity, typically one, enter the serial number, and paste the license code. Next, select the products, typically Canary Historian, Excel Add-in, and Axiom. Click Submit. A license key will be provided. Insert the license key in the field in the upper right-hand corner beneath Add License Manually. Click the Accept key. Congratulations! Your Canary system is now installed, licensed, and ready to log data. To learn more about the Canary system and to access our knowledge base articles, visit help.canarylabs.com. Thank you.